Welcome back to episode three of Spotlight on New York City. I'm Anna Kunin for MVP NY, and today we are spotlighting three more exciting New York City attractions. You're probably hoping for one or two celebrity sightings while you're visiting New York City, and if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll probably get one. But in the meantime, there's a place where you can get up close and personal with all your favorite celebrities, political figures, historical figures, and much more. Madame Tussauds, New York. We're in the VIP room with none other than Johnny Depp. We've got George Clooney over there, who I'm hoping we can talk with later, Carrie Underwood, who is the newest wax figure here, and, of course, you gotta have Madonna. When you walk around, you can touch everything. It's real human hair, the heads are made, of 99% beeswax and the bodies are made of fiberglass. Each wax figure costs between $100,000 and $150,000 to make. So George, it's, it's really nice to meet you. How, do you. how do you like your home here in the corner at Madame Tussauds, New York? Man, a few words. Ooh, your hair's so soft. George, you're so, you're so buff. <laughs> what are you doing later? George, please. Please, there's other people listening. Each wax figure is insured for over a million dollars. The clothes are sometimes donated by the celebrities themselves or are replicas of clothing that the celebrities have worn in the past. It takes a team of five to seven artists to make every wax figure, and each one is maintained and updated every three to six months. I need a mid-morning snack. Since I'm in movie star mode, I think I'll walk up a few blocks through Times Square to Planet Hollywood for a Caesar salad, maybe some spinach dip. It's always nice to have a souvenir to take home after visiting New York City. And what better souvenir than one you made yourself? Here, at the biggest Build-A-Bear store in the world, you go through an interactive bear building experience, after which you leave with your very own personalized bear, and maybe even a new best friend. I'm here with Laura, the chief workshop manager here at the Build-A-Bear on Fifth Avenue. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. So tell me a little bit about this store. What makes it special? Absolutely. This particular location is the biggest build bear workshop in the world. We are the flagship store on Fifth Avenue. And we see a lot of guests every day from all over the country, all over New York. But because we're a global company, we also see a lot of our guests from um, England, um, Denmark, other countries where we have build bear workshops. They've heard about us. They seek us out to come check out our product. And because it's the biggest one in the world, it's an awfully exciting experience. And the first First step is choose me where you get to pick a furry friend when you pick an animal a lot of the time some of the proceeds will go toward a, a specific cause like the Humane Society the World Wildlife Fund and literacy we have several animals that are ten dollars and that's special um, it's kind of our answer to the the economy so mom can still make an awesome holiday for her family her friends her children with so many selections that are so affordable so I have champ he seems a little limp <laughs> I think he needs some work so what's the next bit. step Let me show you how you Personalize or pause and analyze Champ just right for your visit today. Pause and analyze. <laughs> At our Hear Me Station, you can add a sound to your bear so we can kind of talk to you. Every time you press it, you can hear a great message. Okay, so here we are at Stuff Me. This is where you're going to fill your bear up. You can decide how full you like it. Some people like them really chubby and some like them kind of squishy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stuff it now, okay? Now, do you think you want your bear kind of squishy today? He's a nice soft bear. All right, we're just about done. I'll put a little in his tummy, but see how happy he is? He's having a good time. So what happens here? This is where we're gonna dress your bear. I love what you've uh, selected. So we're gonna go ahead and, and put the clothes on your bear. Great. And he can check himself out in the mirror. Let's see what he thinks of your selection. Just like you try stuff on, your bear should too. Let's see how he looks. He's a true New Yorker. He really is. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. What do you think? Okay, so we're here at Name Me. This is where you're gonna personalize your bear even more, making a birth certificate. This also activates your Find a Bear ID tag, as I told you before, if you ever lost your bear. And this is where you get your key code for Build a Bearville. You don't need a key code to play, but it's awesome to interact with your bear. Okay, well I'm thinking because we're in New York and because I love Manhattan, we're gonna name him Manny. 
Manny's birth certificate will be waiting when you go to the checkout. Well, we're here at Take Me Home, and this is where we finish our, our time together, our visit with your beautiful bear. You did a great job. His birth certificate came out really nicely. I'm going to put your bear in his own cub condo case. And look, your birth certificate came out. And next time you come, you must check out Build a Dino. What is that? Build a Dino is just like Build a Bear Workshop. You can make your own prehistoric friends, and it's a roaring good time. So you must make one next time, okay? They're for guys, they're for girls. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. I am definitely ready for lunch. Actually, one of my favorite restaurants is nearby. Biche Ristorante is just a few blocks away on 54th Street. They have fresh pastas handmade daily there. I think I'm in the mood for spaghetti with manila clams. Ooh, and then coffee and cake at Rockefeller Center's Kachina and Company afterwards. at the Big Apple Circus and I am here speaking with Phil Thurston who is the public relations manager. So tell me Phil, we'll start with a little bit about the history of this circus. The Big Apple Circus was founded in 1977 by Paul Binder and Michael Christensen who had been in a circus over in Europe and came back with the idea of forming an artistically challenging circus experience for the people of New York. This is New York's hometown circus. We go up and down the East Coast as far south as Atlanta and as far north as New Hampshire. So what makes, uh, what makes the circus different from the other circuses out there? The Big Apple Circus is a one ring circus where no one sits more than 50 feet away from ringside. It's a very intimate experience where all of the acts are among the finest world-class circus acts that money can buy. 50 feet, that's super close. It's very, very close. You can feel the horse's breath, breath as they canter around. Great, that's what I go to the circus for. So I see that a lot of your performers are from different countries around the world. Do you recruit them? We go to the circus festivals around the world in Paris, in Monte Carlo, in Moscow, in Budapest, in China, and we find the finest acts that we can and bring them right here to the Big Apple Circus in New York City. I'm here with Andre Manchev, who is an acrobat here at the circus. Uh, tell me a little bit about your act. Well, I'm a company member, I'm a core company. We, me and several other ones, we stay every year in the circus and we prepare different acts every single year. How long have you been uh, with this circus? I've been nine years. This is my tenth season, sorry. And where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. I was born in Sofia, our capital. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome. Our pleasure. You had mentioned that it's a non-for-profit organization um, and you work with a lot of charities. Can you talk a little about that? The Big Apple Circus was founded as a not-for-profit in 1977 and we have five major community outreach programs. The first of which is Clown Care, which uh, is in hospitals all across the United States from Seattle to Miami. Clowns uh, who live in the towns where the programs exist go into the hospitals and cheer up the children and their families, bringing a little circus joy into their lives. How can we get tickets to the show? The Big Apple Circus tickets are on sale at our website, www.bigapplecircus.org, or you can call our 800 ticket info line, which is 800 922 3772. And there you have it, folks. What a great day. I am so ready for a nice, relaxing evening. Maybe dinner and a glass of red. I hear the new wine bar, Boca de Baco on 9th Ave, has a fabulous rosemary chicken. So I'm gonna go check that out, but I hope you guys had a great time today. I know I did. Please remember to check us out on our website, mvpny.net, and friend us on Facebook and MySpace. See you next time, bye.